y'all. Today I'm gonna show y'all how to make marshmallow slime. All you need is Elmer's glue, salt, and something to mix with. I'm gonna be using the salt, the I mean the soap holder to do that. So first you put the the glue on the thing that you're missing with. Mix that up a little. It gets a little chunky. It's already starting to form a slime. Kind of. And then pour some salt on it. And you kind of need a lot, so just, yeah, and then mix it until it starts to get this form of slime. It's already getting there. It's kind of already there, so just keep on mixing until you think it's ready. If it's not enough, just put more glue. And if the glue is too much, then put more salt. So yeah, mine's practically done. So this is how you make some. And I'm also going to show you how to make it with shampoo. So yeah. Hi hey guys, now I'm going to show you how to make slime with shampoo. I use Suave, but not a lot because I also use it for my hair. So I'm going to be using Suave. You need something to mix with. I'm using the bottom of an eyebrow pencil. Something to put the products in. And Elmer's glue. First thing you do is put the Elmer's glue in. As much as you want, but it's the more you put in it, the more slime you got. So this is the stuff. So you kind of mix that. If you want to put a little salt in it, put a little salt. But to make it half color, you put the shampoo or dish detergent or a full color. So that's all you need. Oh, I made a bubble. Okay, so then you mix until it gets the form of the slime. Mine is starting to get there already again. So if that doesn't work, just keep on putting in some salt. And it's going to get there, I promise. And then, and now it is slime, and nothing comes behind. So, there you go, guys, if you want to make marshmallow slime with shampoo, if you don't have Elmer's glue, then just do salt and shampoo, so I'm going to do that too. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do it with, um, without Elmer's glue, if you don't have glue. But everyone should have glue because, like, it's a common ingredient that you should already have in your book bag or so. And, yeah. And you kind of mix that. And, yeah, this is my cinnamon in the bathroom. So you mix that, push it together, and no trace behind. It's fun to play with. It keeps your hands busy, and it's really fun. So this is my plate already. This is without the shampoo. This is with the shampoo. So it smells good. Mm. I was kind of tempted to eat this, 
but don't eat it or you'll be sick because of the glue in this. So I'm going to be putting up these supplies so I can make the um so I can make the slime without glue. Be right back. So now I'm going to be using salt and suave. Not so much because I use it for my hair. Pour your salt. Put your salt on there. And then put your suave. If you want suave. And put only a little because you don't know if yours is going to turn out great. Keep on mixing till it gets slimy. So you put salt on there. And now it's slime. So I'm going to put this on to play with it. See it slime? Put more swab as needed. I only put more swab because it means more slime. And then put only a little bit of um and there's your slime guys. Like it's not even bad. Like I kinda like this version because it's easier if you don't have glue or anything. So That's my version of those, so thank you guys. So guys, since I love making the um Elmer's glue one so much, I'm gonna do it again for you if you didn't pay attention the first time. So pour your Elmer's glue. Like always, pour your Elmer's glue. I have another bottle, so it's right here actually if you wanted to see the other bottle. It's full too, it's full, just as needed. And if you think like you want the whole bottle, just pour it like that. So I don't need the whole bottle, but I just need a little bit more than how it's coming out. Get your salt, pour a lot on top, not a whole lot, but just enough to look like it's a lot. So get that on top and mix, mix, mix until it starts to get all chunky. So it's supposed to get chunky. And chunky, chunky, chunky. Starting to form already. That's good. So you touch it, make sure it's nothing on your finger. If it is something on your finger like this, only a little and it shouldn't do that at all then put a little bit more salt and it'll like form into your little chunks that you want and if this is your first time looking at this video hit the like and the subscription I'm going to show you all the ingredients you need put a little more salt Put more salt it starts to depart on its own and that's kind of how i like it so you put yours like that so my hands don't really have anything on them it's separating all that um marshmallowy look chicken thing so that's how you do that and there's more on the plate This is the plate. It's all the slime there. It's all the slime. So, my 
hairs are kind of wet. You just saw that. My hairs are kind of wet from all the water and rinsing. Because it kind of gets wet from the glue. I don't know why it does that, but it gets wet from all the glue. Like, I love this, guys. Like, this is, like, the best slime I've ever made. Just ate a piece. It's salty. That's why it's so watery. But I'm going to remake this and put a little more Elmer's glue because it's so watery. That's the water that just came from this line. But it's so watery. So I'm going to put a little more glue on it so it doesn't be so watery. Just keep on mixing until it's how you want it. And like the glue will get hard if you leave it out, but if you like put it in a container or something, then like yeah, you can press that down. If you want it all white and chunky like this, like snow then you're watching the right video. But if you just want it to be slimy when you can stretch it and go like that and stuff, then gotta go watch another DIY because uh, this is how I like my slime.